Hi, it's Heather. And TJ. With Maurice Home for Wayward Chickens. And TJ agrees that the babies that are in the special needs sardine Hyatt coop, there's one, are ready to go in the big barn with the big chickens. And they definitely belong in there. So we are going to start capturing them. And then we're going to separate them from the addition and the purchase tonight. And we got them their own little miniature purchase. So we're going to start putting them in there now. I got this little girl. And she's so cute. Mm. You can go with the big girl coop now. So let me put the light on. Oop. So this is where they're going to go. We put like a little half wall up. They have little perches. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. They have their water dish with the heater under it. Their food. TJ got two, four. Oh, we got six of them already. So we only have uh, two or three more to get. I think the the bands and Brahmas are going to be the hardest to get. But they're, oh, here they come. They hurt you. Okay. Maybe go back in there and talk. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come with your babies. Come with your buddies. Come back in. Why don't you shoot her this way? Go ahead this way. Because she ran back that way. Teacher's gonna get the last two. So like they have their little heat lamp over here. I'll show you guys that bulb I was talking about. That's an old um, sliding patio door that I put in there. These are the bulbs. It's flat. They're ceramic. And they don't, they give off just as much heat, but the bulb doesn't get as hot. So there's less chance it's gonna cause a fire. A low rider. What, you guys are upset because of someone new? Come on, go, go up, go, go. No, go up here, go, go. There you go. They're all talking to each other. They're like, welcome. Not. We got this little girl. She was not easy to catch, but she's okay. And she's gonna come in now. We have one more left. And we're hoping that the last one will follow. There you go. We'll follow her buddy. See if she follows her buddy. Now, we're gonna go get her. So, we let her go in the run. We close the run door, her normal run, and we close the coop. So it's a small area for us to capture her. We chased her around for a bit. We couldn't corner her. She's small and quick. She ran in the big barn on her own. The last one went in on her own. We got her, but it wasn't that easy, so she's a little upset. See, she's, she's breathing a little bit heavy. So I'm gonna pat her a little, calm her down so she knows that she's okay and that we're, we're all good. Okay, I pat her a little bit. She calmed down. Everybody's in. We have a two, four, six, eight, nine. Eight in here. Oh, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Eight, eight from the sardine run. And then eight from, there nine here? And nine here, I always get it backwards. So we're gonna keep them separated. We have this half wall. We're also gonna cover this section over here so that the big chickens can't jump off of the landing from their perch or their ladder. And we're gonna block that into place so that they can't get in there tonight. Here we go. There we go. So we just wanna make sure that these girls who are normally in here do not jump over the wall to bother them and we'll probably do this, I don't know, for a few days to a week or until they're all comfortable hanging out together. And that's how we're going to get them acclimated all in the same barn. If you guys have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And if you want to hit like or subscribe, we would love that. See you guys soon. Bye.